Hello, hello, hello. It is Stephanie here from Reds to Red Success. Delighted to be back with you. And this is the fifth in our series of coronavirus videos, all about how to get you and your business delivering exceptionally for your landlords and tenants through all of this coronavirus malarkey in one piece. And today's video, we've talked before about what to do if your tenants can't pay. And this video is a follow up video to that one with the step by step process. Um, we have been putting this in place as the days go by. Today, the day I'm recording this is the 1st of April, April Fool's Day. And it's a, um, we will, it's our moment of truth to see uh, what rents we will receive today and we'll be going live in the rent to rent success secrets face facebook group tonight if you're watching on the first or you'll be able to go back and see that video at any time in the future so join the group if you want to catch up with what happened and what went down so i'm going to be telling you about the process of what to do if your tenants can't pay their rent so first of all we've got this tension haven't we between people who genuinely can't pay their rent and uh, have gone through um, some bad experience so they might be made unemployed or um, you know let go at short notice or they might have been on um, a contract where again they've been let go at short notice or they might be ill or self-isolating so there are lots of genuine reasons why tenants might now find themselves in a position where they can't pay and where we want to be supportive and we want to offer them a way through that and then we've got the other side that we want to prevent the people who want to take the Michael and um, have had no changes but just see the opportunity not to pay any rent and also not to be evicted. So we, that's the tension that we are navigating and that is the tension that this uh, three-step process uh, goes through about how to get around that and be able to support your genuine tenants and also weed out your tenants who might be trying to pull, pull a fast one. Pretty but there are the there are the few and whatever process you have in place needs to take account of that because we also need to support our landlords who are also going through a hard time going through coronavirus and i explained last time that for some of them it means that they're being made redundant from their roles and for others it means that their business have just gone in a flash to zero revenue and they've still got a whole team of staff and other natural commitments so it's tough times for everyone so step one in this process there's three steps the first one is and this is controversial i know a lot of people are communicated with all our tenants beforehand so we emailed all our tenants i'm going to talk about what we talked about in that email but first of all i want to say why did we email and not phone well first of all um we emailed because we wanted everything to be written down so everybody understands everything. Nobody can say they haven't been told something or that they don't understand or that they, yeah, yeah, that they weren't informed. It, the second one is it gives tenants more time to think. If you catch people on the hop on a phone call, they might be in a bad moment or what have you. So it gives people time to think before reply and thirdly the re reason why we wanted to get in touch with people beforehand is that we wanted to set out a process that they can go through and what we wanted to do with that process is encourage genuine people to come forward if they can't pay but also deter people who might be trying to pull apart pull a fast one <laughs> from trying it on and I know that some landlords said that they didn't want to get in touch with tenants in advance because they felt that if they did that, then tenants might come back and say, I can't pay when they can. So that was our rationale for getting in touch before. So let me talk about what the email says. The email says that we are going to support people through this, uh, that we won't be making people homeless or making any lent, late rent charges. We ask them to pay their rent as normal if they can, to let us know to anticipate any difficulty and to claim the money that they're entitled to. And we do explain in that email with the links also, we explain about what furlough is so that they can ask their, if that applies to them, they might have already been laid off, but they might be opportunity for them to go back and ask. 
the medic because we all love just to universal credit means that it will cover most most of our tenants so then we also go on to explain that rent is a priority payment that the rent is still due and actually this is only a deferment so it's like a payment plan if you will and we also explain just in case they've heard on the news that landlords are getting a mortgage mortgage holiday we've also explained that the mortgage holiday doesn't exist either and all that that money does need to be paid with interest and not every landlord will be able to either apply for or get a mortgage holiday so we've explained all that in the email and we've ended it on that we're there to help them through that so step two and this is the important one and the one that i think um it will is really helpful to us step two is that we have we have created a short online form and that form is called a rent repayment plan sorry <laughs> a rent payment plan request form so we've got a short online form so if anybody comes back to us and says actually i can't pay this month due to coronavirus we send them this a short online form they complete that and that tells us a little bit about what their circumstances are what their income is, how long what they would like to pay on the rent payment plan right now and um it just means we have all the information we're hopeful that that's going to encourage uh, genuine people but it's going to put off um the players the players then um so that is that and it also gives them a link within that form it gives them a link to universal credit and we ask them to provide the evidence that they have applied if that is relevant for them and then step three is when we've got those forms back in what we will be doing is going through that and for those where universal credit applies that's fine and they put their application in we know that th those funds will be coming that there might be a delay in that coming through but that will come through we draw up a plan uh for you know they will have proposed the tenant will have proposed a plan so we'll look at that plan and either agree that plan or not or negotiate it and then for one or two tenants it might be the case that it's actually better to talk about moving on voluntarily um, if it looks as though their situation is is not going to uh, a lot of tenants are younger and for them that might that might look like moving back home with family so those are the things that we would we would discuss there so in summary we've got three really tight steps that help us go through this tension between the genuine people who we really want to help and the players who are just trying to um, pull a fast one and then we take them through the three uh, the three steps which is we, we let all our tenants know the process in advance that we um, ask them to complete the form and then we look at the evidence and then step three we make a plan together about the best way forward so I hope that was useful um, if you've got any questions please pop them in the comments I would love to hear them um, also remember you can to like this video subscribe to us on YouTube and if you want to find out what's happening with our business through the next few weeks join the rent to rent success secrets Facebook group where we're going to be revealing all of that in detail and also answering your questions to help you get your businesses through that as well and if you want to book a call with me to discuss any issues that you're having in your own rent to rent properties right now then we've got a link there that you can book a call in with me as well so I hope you're having a great day I look forward to seeing you soon bye for now